What's up, YouTube? It's Ali Beans from I Freaking Love This, and today we're going to go over PC Value Calculator or PC Worth Calculator. Essentially, the purpose of this video is how to most accurately price your custom PC if you need to sell it. Now, I'm going to have timestamps in the description below for you, but let me just talk a little bit about why I'm making this video, right? I was on Facebook. And a gentleman posted that, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, him and his wife both lost their jobs, right? And he posted his specs very thoroughly, by the way, right? He wasn't vague about it. And people were throwing really low numbers at him that, you know, he would really be silly to sell that, the night's nice equipment he had for. And other people were more making fun of him, right? And more saying, oh, I would never sell my PC and all this stuff. And I mean, think about it. This person is possibly risking losing their home, their car, kids' trust funds, college funds, whatever. Um, I don't think they need to hear anything but a helpful answer. And so I went in and accurately priced his build and suggested take 30% off the top. And that's a decent used price to start from. And, you know, you can negotiate down if needed. Right. And so that's why this video is being created, because when I searched for PC value calculator or PC worth calculator, and those are the most searched terms in this you know, niche here, um, the results really aren't very helpful for getting an accurate pricing of your pots. So uh, without further ado, let's actually get into first what the regular PC value calculators look like and then what I recommend you use instead to get the most bang for your buck. All right, so here's a little bit more about why this video is needed, right? If you go to Google and you search PC value calculator or PC worth calculator, you're pretty much going to get the same results, right? Let's look at PC value calculator. And again, these two terms are the most searched terms for this. So that's why I'm using them as examples. They are other long tail keywords, as they're called in, in SEO or search engine optimization. But uh, those don't nearly get the same amount of searches as these two. And so we've got gadgetvalue.com. And right here, right off the bat, and not knocking this site, by the way, because I'm sure it's helpful for some people, but it's not helpful for a custom computer build, right? It has you choose the year your computer was made, right? And the manufacturer, right? And even if you do custom built, right? It's not really giving you a lot of options, right? There's a big difference between different types of SSDs, different types of GPUs, different types of RAM, and this doesn't hone in on that. So you, you're never gonna get an accurate price, right? So let's look at one of the other sites here, the Broker PC Price Calculator. Let that load. And again here, a little bit more detailed, but I mean, one, it's only letting me uh, select Intel. And between, you know, i7s, there's still a huge price difference, right? And one 16 gigabyte kit of RAM is not going to cost the same as another 16 gigabyte kit of RAM, especially when you're looking at RGB and higher timings and stuff like that. So again, this might be useful for, to, for some people, but not if you're trying to get the most out of selling your used custom built machine. And let's look at another one. Uh, here we have a Reddit post about somebody asking if this is possible, and I'm going to show you that it is. Another uh, post asking if it's possible. Um, let's see here, this article here. Isn't really telling me where to go, right? Isn't really telling me how to actually calculate the value. Have it appraised? We don't want to do that. You, you're you know, probably low on money. That's why you're selling your PC. You probably don't have money to, to get it appraised from different realtor, realtors. And they're not going to, half of them aren't going to know what a custom build goes for anyway. And let's check this last one down here. Again, right? It, it gives you laptops. And nothing for custom built machines, right? And so right here, if somebody's searching for this phrase, hopefully they'll find this video and let's actually go into how you should actually be pricing your used custom built machine. All right, so here is the website I recommend you use. And a lot of you guys are already going to know about this website. It's PCPotPicker.com. Now, this website is normally used for pricing out you buying a new build. But this is an excellent website to use to get an accurate 
value for your used machine as well. And all I would do is go to System Builder here. I'm not signed into my account because it's got some of my personal info, but we would just go to System Builder here, choose a CPU, right? Let's choose something uh, like a 2600 Ryzen or something, right? Right, something a couple of generations back. Add that here. CPU cooler. Let's let's make it simple. We'll just do a, a two twelve Evo. Choose a motherboard. Come on, thought I clicked on you. And again, I'm not gonna go too far ahead. Compatibility issues. Does that one not work? And this is a great site because if you are building a machine, it will give you compatibility issues. But let's just assume all these play together for the sake of our our opinion because you would know uh, for the sorry not for the sake of our opinion but for the sake of this video because you would know what your build is already anyway and and here we can see the difference in price in ram right this 16 gigabyte kit versus this 16 gigabyte kit is 20 dollars. so using one of those other builders isn't going to give you an accurate representation so let's put that in there storage let's just do one ssd and again right even these ssds way different pricing Choose a video card. Here's where I'm going to show you that you also will need another site with this, right? Let's do a 580, right? And let's use this Gigabyte Gaming one because it doesn't have a value. Because right now, there's really none in stock. Miners are buying them everywhere. The GPU shortage, which I've got other videos on, just check my channel, um, is, is real right now. And it's tough to find the latest gen, let alone earlier gens as well. So let's add that there and we'll solve that no price available in a moment. Let's choose a case, and again, what we're choosing is not as important at the, as that. It's giving you accurate information here. Power supply, again, we'll just choose whatever here. And we don't really need to add anything else in here, but I just want to show you that you can add your monitors to this as well. If, you know, if you're selling your whole system because you're down and out in your luck right now, you might need to sell everything, right? And then here, boom, we have an estimated value. And in negotiating, selling your computer, you always want to start high, right? And a good high point would be just to take 30% off the top of this, right? Uh, and you can do that just by timesing it by 0.7, right? Just at, throw this in a calculator, times it by 0.7, and that will be 70% of it or 30% off. And that's a good high starting point for negotiations for selling your machine it's really that easy obviously there might be some stuff you know we missed here but again you would just input what you have but notice we don't have a price available here so what we would do is grab this copy it and we would go to camel 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 and what camel 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 does is it allows you to see the price history of products on Amazon. Now this is only going to be limited to Amazon, so there might be a couple of you people that have an obscure part that maybe was never sold on Amazon, and you're going to have to do your own research just with Google. But let's paste this in here. Hopefully it, it comes up with a result. Okay, right? We have nothing in stock, right? Which is, again, why it showed no price in PC Pod Picker. But if we click on this here, we can see its history, right? So we can say, right, it was 190 at one time. Last time it was selling for, though, oh, not trying to go to my Amazon account here. Last time it was selling for, though, was 259, right? So somewhere in the middle here, and then take off 30% is going to be an accurate price for you, right? You might even be able to use this bottom price as well if you want to be fair. And then you can just take this. Let's just use this, 169, the cheapest it's been. We're going to add that in here. Manual price. $169.99. Save part list price. And then boom, it's going to add it to your total. And then again, you would just take this total, times it by 0.7, and that'll take, you know, 30% off the top, which is a, a typical reduction for used items. Now, mind you, if you have stuff from like 10, 15 years ago, some of that stuff's going to be completely obsolete. So you might not be able to take just 30% off the top, but use your best judgment there. Most of you are going to be selling stuff just, you know, two, three generations behind. But you can see how that's much more accurate than using something like this. Would load up for me. Where you're just selecting random generations and not specifically the one you have. I mean, this one doesn't even have Ryzen for, for freak's sake. And again, these have their place. 
And that's how you accurately price out your used custom built PC, be able to sell it. And there you have it, folks. Using PC Pod Picker and CamelCamelCamel.com, and I'm going to have all those links in the description below for you, is the best way to get the most accurate value or worth of your used custom built PC, or any PC for that matter. And taking 30% off the top is going to leave you with a nice room for negotiation because that's, you know, top of the used price. And then you can negotiate down or you might not need to and you can get the most bang for the buck. And you know, especially if you have to sell your computer because of hard times, it's important to get, to get the most you can out of it. Um, and I hope this has helped people that are in that situation. My hat goes out to you. It really does. Um, I've had to sell, you know, a car or, or something like that before. I never had to sell a computer just as of yet, but I'm, I'm not taking that out of the running of possibilities in life. So my hat goes out to you, and I hope this helps you get the most bang for your buck. Another tip is to actually create an account on PC Pot Picker. And what that'll do, then you can save your build, and you can actually have the link to your build in your Craigslist ad or your Facebook Marketplace ad or whatever have you, and you can show people what the worth of something is and that they're getting a great deal. Um, and, and with that, if this helped you, if it helped you get the most bang for your buck, or you can just learn something, um, I'd appreciate a like on the video. You can even subscribe and hit that bell. If you want to be notified of when I put out new content, it's free and it does help support the channel. Um, I also stream three nights a week on Twitch. Currently I stream three nights a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays under the name Ollie beans, but that schedule may change. So I'm going to put the link down below for you and you can just give it a follow another free way of helping to support the channel. And you can come by, ask me questions about these videos, ask me to, you know, pot out your used machines. So you can get the most bang for your buck. If you're having any issues or just come bust my chops when I game, I'm Ollie beans for my freaking love this. I'll see you in the next video. Be good to each other.